Hey, what's going on? So, um, yeah, so I have kind of an interesting problem, which I thought actually might be helpful for some folks to, for me to kind of show what's going on. And so, um, my, my issue is that, um, early on when I was making my prezzies for my courses, I gave them each a different look because I was just, you know, I was new. I had found out about going in and giving things different color schemes and so forth. And I figured why not do that? But now that I'm kind of done, I want all of the prezzies in a particular unit to have a particular look. And this um, really isn't a problem after about unit three, but the evolution unit is a good example. Every presentation in the evolution unit currently has a different look to it. And I'm neurotic, so I just want to change um, change that. So what I did was uh, I found the one presentation that I really like the look of the best, and that's uh, this origin of life presentation. And um, there's a couple of ways to do this. There's a easy way and a dumb way and a long way. Uh, you know, you could just take one of the canned appearances and just make them all have that a canned appearance and then you would have a Prezi that looks like everybody else's Prezi. Uh, similarly, if you just use the wizard, if you just make sure that everything is uh, selected the same way, that's fine. But I don't really want to go through six different presentations and put in those values, remember what they are. That extends the manual, which is better than the wizard. I mean, I use the manual all the time, but um, even here, I, I would need to write down all these RGB values, and it's, it's a pain in the butt. So we can actually use the CSS editor in order to do this in kind of, I think, the most efficient way. And so what you do is you just pull up the CSS editor, and you copy the entire CSS code for your Prezi. And just make sure that you get all of it. I've already done this um, for the purpose of this video, so I'm just going to kind of stop right here. But I want to make sure that I get all of it. That's definitely really important. All right. And once you get all of it, you want to copy it. Yeah. So you know, Command-C or Control-C or just use the copy in the menu, depending on, I guess, your particular druthers. And so um, we're just going to leave this. Uh, we don't need to save anything because I didn't do anything. And so then the next thing that you want to do is you want to open up a text editor. So I use uh, the text editor Get It, all right? But um, you might use a different text editor depending on uh, your situation. You could probably just use Text Edit if you're on Mac or Notepad, whatever, TextPad or whatever it is that people use on Windows these days. And you just want to paste it all in. So this is the uh, the CSS file from that Prezi. And you can see that's all in here. And then when you paste it in, just save it and make sure you save it with the extension .css. And then now you have it as a file, which you can go back to your reference, right? So you can do things like select all of it and then just copy it and put it into the memory of the computer. And then you're basically good to go. So what you want to do at that point is Basically, you just want to go in and you want to, um, you know, paste that CSS code into all of your other presentations. And so we'll go in and we'll do that. So we'll go to my Prezi's and we'll go to Evolution and we'll just start with the first one. All right, it's going to take Prezi a moment to load. Uh, I, I use Prezi Desktop. I'm not plugging Prezi Desktop. I just use a lot of, I do a lot of Prezi's. So Prezi Desktop is kind of uh, a no-brainer for me. So let's go in, uh, let's make this a little bit bigger, and let's go into the colors and fonts, and we'll go to the theme wizard in order to get into the CSS editor. We'll go to the manual, and we'll go to the Prezi CSS editor. And now here is our old friend, the CSS editor. And so now what I need to do is I just need to select all of this, that's currently the CSS code for the presentation. I'm gonna take it a second. Uh, Prezi has not really made uh, their CSS editing all that user friendly just yet. Um, I think they're basically leaving it for the more hardcore folks, um, those of us that are willing to kind of fool around inside of it and so forth. So, like selecting all of it's kind of a pain, but you just want to make sure that you get all of it, right? And so now that it's all selected, since I had previously copied that CSS text, I just pasted it in there and uh, things have changed. And now, if I click the apply button, almost by magic, right? The entire presentation is kind of resurfaced. Um, and to look like the style of the all the presentation. Now I'm going to need to go through here on my own and just move some elements around. Like that's obviously out of uh, sorts, and a couple of things are off. But that's that's minor, minor, minor deals. And so um, I'll go through and I'll do that. I would have had to do that anyway. And then once that's all done, um, I'll have myself a series of prezies that all look the same for my unit, which I think is a good thing for kids. All right. Cool. So that's it.
Nice.